Well, thank you very much for that very, uh, very, very kind introduction. Um, and, uh, and the reason why I am here is because, you know, I, I do just love, I just love this title here, you know, welcome, welcome to the fourth industrial revolution. Um, and, uh, and we here, and all of those still stuck on the transport, um, we, we are the people that are going to make this, this fourth industrial revolution happen. And, uh, and I'm absolutely passionate that more of us need to get on board with this and need to, uh, and need to really make it happen. And, uh, and why am I passionate about that? And that is because when you look at all of this political debate that's going on about what is the problem with our British economy, I do fundamentally believe that manufacturing, making things, and creating things is, is absolutely at the heart of being able to fix a lot of our economic problems. We talk about low productivity, which is the sector which is best at driving productivity, which is the sector that does invest in innovation and R&D, and all of that innovation ultimately driving up productivity. It is us. It is the manufacturing and the technology sector. The problem is there's just not enough of us. And actually, there is another problem, which is that there is quite a long tail of our UK manufacturing sector that doesn't invest enough in new technology to drive productivities within their manufacturing uh, uh, operations. So we need to get the message out there uh, much more. We talk about low exports and uh, our uh, massive trade deficit. Well, who is going to fix that? It's going to be the creators and the makers. It's going to be the manufacturing sector that will do that. And we talk about low wages and needing to create more high value, great jobs for people with higher earning power. And again, we all know that our sector, the manufacturing sector, does that in spades. And as ridiculous as it sounds, um, I don't think there is enough talk of what we are doing here as a manufacturing sector and this fourth industrial revolution is also a key answer to all of this ridiculous bait debate we're having about Brexit. And I'm not going to make a political statement as to whether Remain uh, or whether Brexiteer. At the end of the day, this debate we're having about we need more trade deals with China or USA, to me, it's, it's complete nonsense. I mean, if you take Germany, it manages to export five times as much as Britain does to China. And is that because Germany have got some fantastic trade deal with China? It isn't. They're in the same European Union that we still are. But the reason why they do it is just they've got more to export. They make more. They innovate more. They create more. And ultimately, that is why the voice of what we're doing is so important, that we need to be a stronger nation of creators. And ultimately, once we do that, we will find a way of exporting it. And therefore, that's why I believe what we're here to discuss which is this fourth industrial revolution is massively important for Great Britain. And that's why I was delighted to, and it's been an absolute pleasure to lead the country's hopeful sector deal for the fourth industrial revolution as part of the industrial strategy, which we are calling Made Smarter. Um, you're going to hear, I hope, um, a little bit more from Made Smarter today because actually quite a few of the speakers that will go after me. So uh, Deborah Sherry from GE, Ben Salama from Accenture, Paul Homan from IBM who will be speaking shortly. They have all been involved in the Made Smarter review and how we want to drive this fourth industrial revolution uh, here in the UK. So, uh, so next year what I'm hoping at this great summit is going to be called the Made Smarter Summit and, uh, and not the Industry 4 Summit. How about that? That would, be, uh, that would be a great thing to achieve. But I tell you what would be even more brilliant, and that is if in a few years' time, we've got Germany and a few other countries calling their summits Made Smarter Summits. Why is it that we should be sitting here adopting Industry 4.0 as our summit 
you know, we should be taking such a strong leadership position that the world is looking at, look what's happening here in the United Kingdom, look at this brilliant movement that is going on Made Smarter, and nothing would delight me more if we were able to do that. But I think to have credibility in doing that, we do have to do just a little bit more homework. And the Made Smarter review, and uh, if you're interested and you haven't managed to have a look at it, it's dead easy to find. You just go uh, on uh, madesmarter.uk and you can download the review there that uh, numerous British manufacturers have worked on. Um, and uh, there are a few key things that the review has identified that we need to do more of. And number one is in the area of leadership and ambition. We, we need more people to crowd into a room like this and to really show leadership to create a movement and to get behind the fourth industrial revolution and made smarter. I'm therefore delighted that uh, Greg Clark, so our business secretary, has now announced that we are going to launch a Made Smarter Commission. So that is something that we're going to get up and running pretty shortly, which will be a commission, which will be a government and industry partnership that will work towards how can we together create this movement? How can we create more leadership? And what do we need to do to get this Made Smarter revolution in the UK up and running? The second key area is obviously we need to innovate more. Now, you know, that is on your uh, agenda and it will be in all of your discussions. We need to be the creators of the industrial internet of things. We need to be the creators of additive manufacturing, of the adoption of robotics and cobotics in our manufacturing operations. We need to innovate more in this space and therefore it's also great that through Made Smarter we are working with Innovate UK who I see have got a massive stand here which is brilliant and we're working with Innovate UK to create a Made Smarter or a digital manufacturing challenge to work out what more do we need to do in certain areas of innovation to drive those forward. The third area is in the adoption of technologies. And actually, I believe this is one of our biggest Achilles heels, which is, you know, we're actually better at creating the R&D and the innovation, but what we're not brilliant at is at diffusing them and at getting them into our broad base of, uh, of manufacturers, especially small to medium-sized enterprise. And quite frankly, a lot of small to medium-sized companies, they just think, you know, robotics or using the industrial internet of things or data analytics to improve my operations or indeed to better link me in to the supply chains. They just think this is, this is in a, you know, it's too expensive and it's in the too difficult box. But actually, those of us who understand the technologies know that the cost of these technologies have been coming down and the opportunities are high. So what we need to do is to create better ecosystems, demonstrators, sand pits, call them whatever you want, to allow especially small to medium-sized enterprises to come and play with companies like Siemens or it could be Jaguar Land Rover or GE or whoever it is uh, to, uh, to make sure that we can help companies de-risk this uh, technology um, and to uh, take it forward. And we are also working uh, on seeing what better support mechanisms we can get up and running for that. Um, and uh, we're hoping to be able to get a pilot up and running uh, on better support mechanisms and ecosystems for small to medium sized companies. And uh, our plan is to see if we can start that pilot here in the Northwest, uh, because we think there's pretty fertile ground for doing that. But of course, the aim being that we then spread that as fast as possible um, across uh, the uh, UK. However, one of the things that I am convinced about is we in the north, stroke the Midlands, are going to have to become the real leaders of this. I've spent the last two years talking to people in Whitehall, talking to people in government about this. And you know, whilst there is much more appetite for supporting us and getting behind that, the simple truth is, is that there isn't the economic need in the southeast for this as much as there is here in the north. You know, the fact that we can create a new factory in Hull with a thousand jobs, and that then creating 10,000 more jobs in the supply chain, that is a massive big deal for Hull. 
the spending power of the people earning those salaries going into the whole economy, which suddenly means you've got new restaurants and uh, you know all sorts of new things. It's really creating value to the economy. If we did that in London, you know, it would hardly get noticed. So for us here in the north, these sorts of investments are massive. So I think we in the north are going to have to really show leadership for that because at the end of the day, it's our pros prosperity. And that is why I'm also pleased that the Northern Powerhouse Partnership is going to get behind Made Smarter and the Fourth Industrial Revolution much more. And with that, for us to show that leadership uh, in, uh, in the north. And in the end, more and more people in Westminster and in Whitehall will get it. They will be looking at us and saying, you know, that's pretty cool what's going on up there. And the best outcome will be if Westminster in the end says this was their idea. And do you know what? I don't have a problem with that at all, as long as in the end it's us that are creating the prosperity in here in the Northern Powerhouse. So with that, I uh, just uh, say that uh, that call of action to all of us in this room, you know, get behind the fourth industrial revolution, made smarter, take leadership and let's make it happen within our businesses and uh, broader for our manufacturing sector here in the north. Thank you very much for listening and have a great conference. There's some brilliant speeches. I think you're going to have a great day. Thank you very much.